we pulled up on a car, bang on him. Some dude pulled out a strap, just dumped on us right next to us, you know. The brother from our slime wheel was next to us. That brother was already shot. You know, he had already been shot from a prior shooting, so that brother was already hurt. But on that one, we pretty much got saved on that one. You know, the, the, the car was riddled with, 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 with bullets, but uh, none of us hit us. My case ain't unique. This is the, the case of a, a, a broad majority of our people, so-called Hispanics and Blacks. This is what we live in. But we got to understand this, read it. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 5 and verse 8. Uh -huh. There shall be a confusion also in many places. Okay. And the fire shall be off sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places. And menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. You see that? The Bible said that menstruous woman shall bring forth monsters. So how is that? How does that play out in our life? So the monsters is us young men. The monsters, Isaiah 51 and 20. The monsters is us, how we're plaguing our own people. The Bible says that we oppress our own selves. Our sisters, why, our menstruous mothers, why are, they, why are they like that? Why do they create monsters? Why? Because they don't have the father there no more. The father got put into the prison system. The father got murdered. The, the father is a drunkard. The father, guess what? Now he's too busy trying to provide. And guess what? Now he can't spend time with the children. The father's in drugs. And now that creates a, 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 a system of a family where it's broken down. So the monsters is what? The people that we have here. And it's not only gang members. The gang life is just one aspect of our people being destroyed. That's just, that's just one. There's so many aspects. There's many people, brothers and sisters, they ain't gang members, but yet they, they as destroyed as we are. That's just one aspect. Now let's read this. This is the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 20. Uh -huh. Thy sons have fainted. Uh -huh. They lie at the head of the, all the streets. You see that? The Bible says that our sons, our brothers, our young brothers, they fainted and they lie at the head of the streets. Why? They're out there gambling and they're being killed. They're out doing drugs and they're, begin, and they're dying off of the drugs. They've lost their wits. I started through the juvenile hall system, okay? I went in for uh, grand theft and other things of that nature. Uh, when I was in there, I finished my time. I got released. I was out for probably like four days. I went right back after four days. I did another about year and a half in juvie, and then I escaped, okay? I escaped, and I and through that process, me and the brother, uh, it was a brother from Conoga Park. Me and him, we, we did it together, and um, we, uh, we, also, we got a case on a probation officer, okay? We uh, assault with a deadly weapon, uh, with great bodily injury. That's what they try to put on us. Uh, so uh, we got caught the next day, the very next day, that got us sent to uh, back to uh, to juvie. You know, we went through the fitness to where we were fighting to whether we was gonna stay in the juvenile system or the adult system. We lost that. We went to the adult system, and uh, you know, through that, then I got sentenced to about what was it, four years, and all that. So it, for assault with a deadly weapon, uh, I was 16 at the time. So yeah, I got sentenced to that. Went to Tehachapi, and throughout, and, and in that time, I met other young brothers. That was, like I said before, young brothers, man. 14 years old. The youngest one that I, that I met in there, he was 13. 13, this brother was fighting 14 years, 14 to life or something like that. He was young, you see what I'm saying? But that, went, that wasn't the only case. There's a lot of young brothers at that age fighting double life. You had some brothers fighting uh, bank robberies, you know? They was getting hard sentences. So yeah, I went to Tehachapi. From Tehachapi, we got moved. We got moved to uh, the YA system, we went to Chino. I finished the rest of my time in Chino. And then from there, immigration picked me up, as a matter of fact. I was supposed, they was trying to deport me. I fought my case in immigration jail for about six months. You know, I beat that. You know, you know they gave me my, you know, my naturalization and all that. So, you know, th that's how that went. So I was born in Nicaragua. That's where my, all my family's from there. You know, uh, my pops, he left Nicaragua fleeing, fleeing uh, the war that was going on out there. Okay, back in the 60s, 70s, you know, 80s, you had wars going on all over Central America. At that time, Nicaragua was in a war, okay? Similar wars that we're seeing uh, trying to happen in Venezuela and that happened in Salvador. At that time, you had uh, uh, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, what they did, uh, they called what, what was called the Iran Contra, Contra the Iran Contra. So what was going on, uh, uh, the, uh, the U.S., they did an arms deal with Iran. Okay, 
they was trying to back up the contra, which was the the, the part of the uh, government that was fighting against the civilians, against the people. They was funding them uh, through selling selling arms to Iran. Iran was now giving that money to the contras, and guess what? That created that civil war that happened between the Sandinistas and the contras. So. So really, who were they fighting? They was fighting America, America. Russia was in that also. Russia was in there also putting in their two cents. Like that's what happens. All if you see all land America, is all is being uh, systematically. They're trying to take it down. They're trying to take rulership. Why? Venezuela has mass resources of oil. Okay, Nicaragua same deal. Nicaragua right now, what you got? You gotta, you gotta. The, the Chinese they're trying to create a canal. To where now the government guess what they gave them money to be able to create a canal to where china is going to benefit out of it all these countries they go into our land they destroy it they take over it and the people end up losing and then that's how you got in uh, a lot of people being uh co trying to come over and create a life for them can you talk about what it was like to be housed in an adult prison in tehachapi or do they keep all the minors separate or is there any interaction between the minors and the adults in Tehachapi? Okay, so uh, they had us in the, what was it, the 4B, 2B. That was where they had us, 4B and Tehachapi. Uh, they, they had us separated, uh, but we was in the same yard that the adults were. But what would happen is, for example, uh, when we, they, we, would, uh, we would do yard in the, in, the, in, the, in the gym, in the basketball gym. Every time we would go out, we would see the older homies right there in the main line. Uh, but they would send us to the gym. But what happened through that, since we would be right, we was like, we had less control, right? We, had, we really had nobody leading us. So we would always be going at it in there with the, with the so-called black brothers, right? We would be going at it and we would mess up the brothers in the main line. We would mess up their, you know, their time. So I think that kind of fed into the fact that why they wanted us to move us out. So yeah, we was there, but we wasn't with them brothers because we was under age. You know, as a kid, that's what you look for, right? You earn your stripes, you go to prison, you go to juvie, and you do all that stuff. That's part of your growth, as we say, right, per se. We see that as, oh, that's part of my growth. I got to go through that. I got to earn this stripe. And that way I'm looked at as stronger, tougher, better, greater. When you went to Tehachapi, did you have to get classified as a gang member, playboy? Did they label you? what you are once you get entered into the prison system yeah yeah they label of course they label you um everywhere any 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 prison system juvenile uh counties any system that you hit they're always labeling and, and that's the one thing uh give me as if isaiah isaiah one and three right quick labels brothers labels is something that we've been we've been put on so many labels like i said before we've been called hispanics uh latinos uh brothers african-american so-called black we've been called so many labels brother and then we identify ourselves with these type of labels and we put some type of uh, uh we put power in those labels but now this is what we got to remember let's read it the book of isaiah chapter one and verse three uh-huh the ox knoweth his owner uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib uh -huh. but israel does not know so this is the that's this is why we put labels on ourselves this is why we create this society of of criminal organization that we have we're trying to find ourselves but we don't know where to look for it god says that the israelites which are his chosen people he says they have no understanding of where they come from we call Central America, the Aztec Empire, the Mayan Empire, the Incan Empire. We call those our history. The Bible says that we come from Jerusalem. That is the mother that we come. That is what gave life to us. The blacks and Hispanics, we are the true Jews. Now, and I want to touch this other thing. Give me Leviticus. Because I said about the hatred. It all sums up with this, the hatred and the love. What is it and how do we do that? How do we deal with each other and what we must do? Go ahead, read it. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So you see that? The Bible says that we must not hate each other. Oh, very simple. Brothers know that. They're like, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to, you know, put in work, whatever the hell it is. Okay, God says we should not hate. Now, how do we do that? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Correction, brother. Correction is how we deal with each other. Correction is how we love each other. If we don't want to hate each other, he says you must correct, brother. We must correct our young sisters. We must co correct our young brothers. We must teach them. Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. We correct by what? Not suffering that sin upon our people. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. And we know that the judgment for breaking the laws of God 
The judgment for breaking the laws of God is death, brother. We're trying to bring it back to our remembrance. We have, for, we have no knowledge no more of that greatness that we was uh, supposed to be having, ruling the world, being kings, having great families, having just, you know, an empire, brother. That is the Israelite, you know, that is our right as browns and blacks to rule this earth. So God says we must correct each other through who we are, through what you're doing wrong and all of that so we could remember these things. Let's finish it. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against thy children. But guess what? If you love your brother, guess what? God says don't avenge. But our mind is stuck is going and doing the revenge. Read it. Nor bear any grudge against thy children of thy people. Because as easy as we're able to do this to our own people, we're not, we're not doing it to the other nations. We're not willing to do that. On the contrary, you see a bunch of Chinese, man, white people and all. Right here, you got a high school. It's called Loyola, right? Our people don't go there. If you do have any, maybe one or two. Our people don't go to that school. We can't afford it. But the white man comes out of there all day, every day, right through Catalina. But we don't do nothing to them. But you see your own people walking through. Now you're banging on them. Now you want to cause them harm. You see what I'm saying? Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.